Coming up today on That LTD Life, I'm gonna be speed running Ad Alchemy. This is a Google Ads tool that uses AI to help you build the perfect campaign. Now, Google Ads has been getting increasingly more expensive as all advertising has been. So perhaps you need a little bit of AI on your side in order to get the best results. Let's go ahead and find out. Now, currently you can get Ad Alchemy for as low as $79. That is a one-time cost, not a recurring fee. We go down to the plan details. You'll see there are many plans available and you can actually scale this one up to be pretty pricey. Now, to be honest, it's still really cheap when you look at the average cost of any of these third-party tools. In fact, if you go all the way up to their tier five, this is a mammoth plan and it's gonna cost you under a thousand bucks. I don't run ads too much these days. I used to manage them for clients uh, back in the day when I was getting started and we used Optimizer all the time back then. And I think even the yeah, other cheapest plan is $208 per month. So yeah, a one-time cost of under $1,000 is definitely a good deal if the tool holds up. I mean, just to point out, Optimizer had a cap on how much you could spend. So this has unlimited ad spend. If we compare that to Optimizer, let's say you get up to 150K a month because you're managing clients. Well, now you're talking about $500 per month. And this is monthly billing. We do get a discount if we go to annual, but still, these tools are expensive. That's all I'm trying to spell out. Okay, so which plan should you pick? Well, it's mostly based on usage. So tiers one, two, and three here, uh, basically how many users do you need and how many research credits do you need? That's gonna be AI assisted research credits. Now, these are not reoccurring. You should know that they are one-time allocation. They don't ever expire, but you might actually end up using them all and then need to pay out of pocket for additional credits if you wanna continue using the tool. I mean, this isn't all the tool does. There are other features that you could continue using, but I don't think you'll enjoy it much without the credits. So if you move all the way up to tier four or tier five, you get 100 million research credits on tier five, by the way, but you also get access to their WordPress DKI plugin, which stands for Dynamic Keyword Insertion. And we can use this on WordPress, Cloudflare, or JavaScript. So basically any website, but you might need some more coding if you're not using WordPress. Now the idea here with DKI is that it will automatically update your landing page to be more relevant to the search term that was sent in by the user, right? So if someone searches for uh, gyms in Naples, Florida, well, you can automatically update that to show on your landing page. Now, I mean, you might already have that on the landing page, but you get my point. DKI or dynamic keyword insertion is very, very important because it will end up making the search more connected to the landing page, which Google really likes, which will lower your cost of ad spend. And it's just a better experience for the searcher. All right, so here is Ad Alchemy. I'm about to show you all around the tool. I'll point out what I like and what I don't like, but we're gonna be moving pretty quickly through this. There are a lot of features, so this will not be one of my more thorough reviews. Now, if you wanna support this content, of course, I've got my AppSumo link in the description. If you click that before making a purchase, it ensures that I can continue to make these daily LTD reviews. Of course, in the end, it's up to you. Watch the screen recording and decide if it's a good fit for your business. But at the very end of the video, I will give it a score zero through 10. All right, onwards. So Ad Alchemy is actually a toolkit. There are a ton of things we can do here. They've got their campaign builder where you can actually go through and map out exactly how you want to run your ads. They give us a demo here. I'll just kind of breeze through it real quickly. We've got campaign setup. We can do our keyword research and import that here into our keyword setup. We can set up our bid structure. We can set up our actual ads, how we wanna use dynamic keywords inside of the ads. And then finally, you can preview what the ads will look like and export them. Now, here is the first sticking point. It does not have direct integration to Google Ads right now. They say that is coming, an API connection is coming, but uh, otherwise you can just export it and then import it to your Google Ads desktop application. Really not that big of a deal, but it sure would be nice to have that you know, direct integration with just remove a little bit of friction. All right, we'll come back and check out the campaign builder later on. For now, we're gonna continue with our speed run here. The next section over is targeting and keywords. This is where you can go ahead and do your keyword research find out what will be profitable. Um, we can see our total volume. If there's a certain keyword, you can end up clicking on it to reveal statistics about it. So I can add a keyword in here. We'll just add AppSumo as the keyword and hit okay. So this is part of a keyword set. If that wasn't clear, basically a set is like a folder of keywords. If you're new to Google ads, 
I don't know that this tool is necessary. I think you could be fine just running your ads on your own for a while and then using this as more of a power user tool, especially if you're managing client accounts. So if you don't know what a keyword set is, probably just do things manually for a little while. All right, so I've just added AppSumo to this keyword set, and you can see over here it says Add Statistics. I can click on this. It's going to use some of my credits to reveal it, but I can see uh, some, some data about uh, AppSumo. So it says the sweet spot uh, is a score for uh, that basically attempts to identify uh, PPC opportunities and find keywords with these in search results. We've got the search volume over here, as well as the cost per click. We can see the keyword intent as well as the competition. And we get this teeny tiny little bar graph over here so we can see how things have changed over time. It looks like recently AppSumo might have had a little bump in uh, ad spend on their branded keyword, but other than that, uh, things have been laying low for a little while. I guess this would probably be Black Friday, right? Okay, if we wanted to update our statistics all at once, we could click this button right here. And we could also export our keywords if we wanted to use them in another tool or just upload them directly to Google, we could export them right there. There is versioning for your keyword sets as well. So you can show the versions right here and you'll have a history of all of the changes that have been made. Really nice pro feature. I love that they did this. Now you can add as many keyword sets as you like. You can put them into folders and you can even share them with other users or view other keyword sets that have been shared with you. All right, so next up is ads. Now ads are gonna be part of our campaigns, of course, but we can build them manually as well if we don't wanna do it as part of a campaign. We can open it up right here and we get a list of the first ad set. Here's all of the headlines and they are using tokens to make these more dynamic. Over to the right, we get some recommendations, things we could do to improve the headlines, whether we have enough of them, whether the descriptions are appropriate, long enough, so on and so forth. If we're using title case in our headlines, that is always a good idea for ads, seems to convert better for some reason, but the demo set here does not use them. So beneath our headlines, we scroll down a little bit here, we have our descriptions, and then over to the right, we can see a preview of what the ads would actually look like. So our headline here, and then our descriptions down below. Now keep in mind that when these actually are sent over to Google, the little tokens here will dynamically pull in based on our keyword list. Just like in the keyword version, there is an option over here to see previous versions. So if you've made changes, you're regretting it, you can always restore it back to a previous time. And of course we can share our ads with others. Here is the link to share with others and view ads that are shared with you. So just like in keywords. Next option is landing pages. Now the landing page builder is really interesting here. So this is basically going to be a system where you can just add in any URL and it's going to analyze it and give you some advice on how you might be able to improve it to work better with your ads. So I added in my course landing page here for my ghost course and it goes through and actually uses AI to suggest ways to improve the overall experience. So we get some strengths, some areas to improve and the highest priority next steps. Then it goes a little bit deeper. It gives a full page speed analysis, shows me how to improve the page speed. It analyzes my headlines, which apparently needs some work. It analyzes the content, which is better, but could still stand to improve. And I gotta say, I like the level of detail they provide in these sections. It's really intelligent how they kind of walk you through the density of information. The first thing you see is the score, okay. 65 might need some work. Well, what do we need to work on? And then they tell you in just a little bit more info, keywords appear on the page. Hey, add some more keywords, silly. And does it use a video? Well, it actually does, but it didn't detect the video for some reason. Then it gives me even more detail here going into uh, you know bullet points to really, really help me improve my content. And that stands true for the other sections as well. Just very intelligent with how they lay these out. I would say that the graphs could stand to be maybe a little bit bigger, maybe give those their own section in, you know, down below or something like that. It's kind of hard for me to make a ton of sense out of either one of these. Yeah, honestly, they could just move this down below here and then we'd have all this extra room in order to make the graph a little bit bigger. So when you're done analyzing your landing page, you can generate a report right here if you wanna share it with a client, but you do need to be on AppSumo tier four or five to do so. The next tool is called LTV Funnel Maps, lifetime value, of course, funnel maps. So the way this works is you get these two little tokens that we can drop into a grid over here, or not really a grid, but a canvas. This is kind of like an infinite canvas, right? So I can zoom way out if I need to. Uh, I don't want to go that far out. 
And here basically we have our traffic source, which I can connect up to a particular action. So maybe my traffic source is Google ads. So then you'll enter in your campaign name, insert your URL, the number of clicks and costs that you receive. And basically we can start to simulate what will happen if our ads perform at a particular level. So maybe we're driving traffic to a landing page and that landing page is for a free consult. And then you can enter in the success rate from the previous step and you get the idea here. You can start to build out the entire funnel to figure out how much revenue you're gonna make at certain metrics. So this is a very cool planning idea. There are other planning tools like this out there, but it's cool that it's built right into Ad Alchemy. It would be even better if you could pipe in live data, of course, but I don't think that is necessarily likely to come. The next section over here is research, and this is where you can compare your brand to your competitors. I've already done a comparison here, comparing AppSumo to Stack Social, and I can see the spending for each brand, AppSumo on the left and Stack Social on the right, how much traffic they're getting and their traffic cost. Then down below, we can see our keyword opportunities. So I set it up so that I am AppSumo and then Stack Social is my competitor. So here are keywords that my competitor is bidding on that I am not. So Stack Social, the branded keyword, of course, and then how much they are actually paying. Wow, Stack Social is paying almost nine bucks a click for their own brand. That's crazy. Apparently, they're also bidding on Costco membership $20. Did that happen on Stack Social? That would be kind of shocking. It must have. Stack Social, Costco. All right. So anyway, you can scroll through here and see the different keywords that Stack Social has bid on. And we get our eensy beansy little graphs over here to the right. We can also see keywords that we're bidding on right over here in the next tab, your site. So we can see all of the keywords that AppSumo is currently bidding on and then the keywords of the competitor site. So basically the first option is kind of like a difference between the two uh, showing us which keywords they're bidding on that we're not. Now we can export this to a CSV. We can copy the keywords or we can just save them to a keywords list. Now worth noting that they're getting their data from SEMrush. So they're not just pulling this out of their backend. This is legit data. So that is a huge value right there. And to top things off, if all of this wasn't enough, we can go over to the quick tools where we can see they can combine keywords for us. They can delete duplicate keywords, replace keywords, convert case, clean lists, cluster tools. These are all little, you know, simple form tools. You probably have seen things like this before, but it's really nice to have them just right here, easy access. Okay, before we wrap this thing up, let's go a little bit deeper into the campaign builder because I definitely did not get super deep into it. Let's open up their demo campaign and we can see how this is all laid out. So it begins with giving your campaign a name and a description. Remember that you can export this directly into Google using their desktop application. So make sure you do everything exactly as you would inside of Google. Follow your same naming conventions and everything because otherwise you'll be setting yourself up for more work later on. So we can actually utilize this with Google ads as well as Microsoft ads. And then they support responsive search ads, call only ads and AI responsive search ads, although that is in beta. There are a bunch of different campaign types here. So we can do clustered AI based campaign types, thematic, single keyword ad groups, paired domain. And if you want to, you can even use manual ad groups and then still use their AI to help improve your campaigns. And the next step is where you set up your keywords. So here we've got our seed keywords as well as our expansion list because we're using a two tiered system here with uh, this thematic uh, campaign type. So we've got our uh, baby keywords over here, our expansion list. You can add in negative keywords if you want to. There's none in this demo example, but you certainly could. And there's some advanced options down here to clean up your keyword list. If you want to remove extra spaces or remove bad characters that might cause errors over on Google. And then we can have automatic negative keywords added in by just toggling that switch. Then moving on to the third step, which is our bid setup. We can go ahead and set up how we'd like to actually spend our money here. Uh, so you can see there are broad CPC options, phrase CPC, exact CPC, and then negative keyword match types as well for broad phrase and exact match. So once you get your keywords done, you got your bid setup done. Now we build out the ads. Now we saw a little bit of this before in the ad section, but here is probably a little bit more helpful area where we can see the actual recommendations, what we could do to improve our headlines, what we could do to improve our descriptions. And then we get a preview of what they'll look like over here. 
You can set the path for all of your ads to run to. This is like the landing page where the ads will go. And finally, we move on to the preview and export screen. Here you can see all of the different ad groups. You can toggle through them, see the keywords for each ad group, and even get a responsive ad preview. We have the option to download the Google Ads Editor right here if you don't already have it installed. And they do have a guide on how to upload your campaign into Google Ads. If you just wanna download the keywords, you can do that right here. And you can also just download the responsive ads as well. And last but not least, if you wanna get registered for that API waitlist, you can do so right here. You sign up for this, maybe you'll be one of the first to actually get that direct integration with Google Ads. Of course, just like before, we can see versions of our campaign right here. We can duplicate our campaign. And if we go out to the all campaign section, we can of course share campaigns. Now, if you're wondering how much more credits are going to cost, well, it's 30 bucks for 100,000 additional credits. So really not that bad, honestly. I mean, it's not as good as the lifetime pricing. Of course, I got a million for 79 bucks here and to get a million, I'd have to spend 300, but we're not talking about, you know, thousands of dollars for additional credits. So that's Ad Alchemy. I'm going to give you my final score in a moment, but what do you think? Leave me a comment down below. And even if you don't want to leave a comment, hit that like button. It really helps to grow the channel. So I think Ad Alchemy is a fantastic toolkit. There are so many helpful things built into this one package. I definitely would pick it up if I were running ads for clients regularly. Heck, I might still want to hang on to it just for the ability to analyze landing pages. That's a really cool feature. Overall, I'm going to give Ad Alchemy a 7.8 out of 10. If it integrated directly with Google, I'd probably bump it up into the eights but there is that little bit of extra friction. Now, to be honest, that could play as a speed increase and a usability increase because you don't have to monkey around with any Google accounts. You can just jump right into Ad Alchemy and start building out campaigns and that feels pretty good. So you win some and you lose some. I'm gonna stand by my score 7.8 for Ad Alchemy. If you've enjoyed this video and you wanna help support the channel, make sure you check out my AppSumo link in the description. That's gonna do it for today. I'll see you in the next review.